Hello class, let's take a look at the week seven submissions. I think that they're looking excellent so far. I was taking a peek as these were opening up in Photoshop. Uh, I'm very excited to uh, be able to take a, a longer look at them. So first let's get the nitty gritty out of the way. The size is correct and the resolution is correct. I always want to start with that. It does clearly use multiple layers, blending layers. It use, utilizes full layers clearly as as it goes uh is it coherent in style i would say so it's uh everything looks as though it was intended it appears cohesive in design um, in other words, everything was placed in a way that makes sense. Uh, the colors are controlled. There's nothing too strange going on there. And uh, there are no immediately visible anomalies. In other words, weird stuff isn't happening where maybe it should not be happening. So this is looking really good. Um, although I would say, let's take a quick look. I'm just going to toss on a brightness contrast filter. Uh, just leave it as a dummy layer. So uh, nothing, nothing is going on over there. And I'm just going to toss this into a couple of different modes. Um, I think that actually multiply works really well, just darkening that up a whole lot. Let's take a look at overlay, be my next bet, just to increase contrast. I think either of those would work uh, because it seems as though, as it is, it's a little washed out and we can just knock it into multiply to really, you know, kick up those darks or pop it into overlay if you uh, uh, care more about contrast. Uh, I think multiply would probably do it maybe with uh, out 100% fill opacity, just kick it back to like 60% or so, 66%. And uh, here it is before and after. I think that it still uh, retains the, the beauty of the image, but it also gives a little bit greater contrast because it's darkening those darks. Uh, very nice. I really like this one. Um, excellent layout, excellent execution. You did a wonderful job. Well done. Let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, boom. No, don't save these. Boom. Ooh, oh, wow. This is another really, really great one. Look at this. Let's check the sizes. These sizes are correct. Resolution is correct. It also has a clear use of blending layers and uses multiple layers. It utilizes full blending layers, obviously, since it's got uh, the, all these starscapes and things going across it. Uh, it is coherent in style. In other words, it's not just random stuff thrown together. The design makes sense as well. Everything looks as though it's placed. There's no weird color problems and there's no immediately visible anomalies. Uh, again, though, let me go ahead and toss on one more dummy layer because it looks as though this is another one. Uh, so color burn is interesting, but we start getting some bad colors in it. Multiply. No, I don't think so. Let's take a look at hard light. Yeah, I think we could. I think you can push it just a little bit further. Uh, again, not too much. Just a little bit. Maybe this is just personal preference. But I think that... No, that, that gives it a little more contrast between the planet and the clouds, a little darker on the inside. So yeah, there, there's just with one more layer, boom, you can really punch this up a notch. Uh, as it is, though, this is uh, another wonderful one. Well done. Let's go ahead and move on. Great jobs. Great jobs. Really like it. All right. Ooh, excellent. All right. Ooh. That works out well. All right, so let's see, is the size correct? Uh, yes, it is. We've got 300 pixels per inch. This is, again, the, you guys are nailing it on the design. Um, I, if you want more feedback about you know things you could do on that i could i'll gladly give it to you but it looks like you you've got it you're walking you're walking the right path just keep walking on that and uh and you've got it like three for three these are these are looking really really good uh this is correct size and resolution again no bizarre colors this is a uh, really really good cuts on the, uh, the layout so excellent job on that um looking forward to some of your abstract art pieces now that uh, that i'm taking a look at this um y'all clearly uh, have an eye for these things. All right. Um, it, uh, clear, clear blending. Um, it has multiple layers, obviously full layer layer. I can't say that today. Full layer blending is utilized. It's coherent in style. Everything seems to, you know, be selected to for a reason the design is cohesive in other words random stuff isn't popping up the colors are under control i don't see any anomalies immediately uh, but once again it looks like a lot uh, so uh, again third third time this time i think you you can push these a little further you can either yeah maybe even soft light on this so before you know it, yeah darken some of it up but look at the punch it has um so it's it's important to remember you even you don't you don't have to always have full detail on everything 
sometimes losing some details allows you to bring out uh, uh, other details and change the folk. And uh, let me let me show you what I mean real quick. I've brought up a couple of Rembrandt paintings. Uh, here we have the Night Watch, and you can see uh, how how much detail simply isn't present in order to bring out the uh, the faces and the hands where the expressions really lie. And uh, here's uh, another one, Philosopher and med Meditation. Now this is not the, the best uh, scan or photo. Uh, you can see on this page alone, they have uh, multiple copies going in, but uh, the, the concept's the same. The lighting falling on this creates uh, a sort of focus for the details and so the rest isn't as necessary it simply fades away where it's not needed uh, so it's not always vital to have uh, everything in focus um, sometimes creating uh, letting the light fall off and letting other light come in allows you to really uh, laser laser scope in the focus you know just get things right where you want to have the audience's attention so uh, keep in mind you know sometimes you can increase contrast and lose some details and that's okay it's it's not always required that everything be crystal clear uh, that's it this is another excellent piece i think three for three let's uh let's go ahead and move on to the next one uh no don't save oh very cool look at this all right uh we have hopefully the correct size yes and the right number of pixels per inch this is uh uh has a clear use of layer blending i can barely say blending today it clearly uses multiple layers yes also true um it has uh, full layer blending it's a little harder to tell in this it really looks like some masking went on here uh i don't i don't know what the deal is there but uh yeah I, I think it would have been better in this case to maybe set something up where it, it would have um pushed through so maybe you know have the figure this figure on a white background or a black background and then toss them in a mode that will eliminate that so that you have just them sitting on top of the fire rather than have the fire uh, going in um it's coherent in style absolutely cohesive in design yes the colors are controlled uh i would say yes there are a couple of places where some stuff's happening but i would throw that more under some uh visible anomalies uh in this case we've got some strange strange haloing effect occurring on it uh again i think this is yet one more that could and maybe i'm wrong here uh oh now you'd have to be careful with this because the colors start to get a little out of control but before after look at those look at that uh pop out and that's just from overlay so uh, again um just push it a little bit more and you'd be surprised what you can get might be good to have maybe one more image across this whole piece just to add a grain to it so that it creates even uh more co uh, more cohesive design in that uh, with just one thing of noise for example uh it could work out very well so let me let me give an example of that we will just uh, fill this with noise real quick with a filter noise add noise oh right it needs to have some pixels in there filter noise add noise just a small amount uniform okay overlay okay Let's see so just a little bit of noise to add a grain across everything, I think could be very useful, blends it all together. And then a uh, brightness contrast filter to uh, really make it pop. Sorry, brightness contrast filter, a, a um, overlay layer to really make it pop, just to bring it in on itself. All right, um, so yeah, that, uh, that said, uh, this is another excellent design. Um, it's cut down the middle. I like that there's nothing right in the middle. You have the two figures looking at each other. Might have been good to toss a sun or a moon or something in the eye sockets. You could add had a little flash of of color or something in there. Otherwise, uh, very well done. Good job. Let's let's go ahead and move on. 
Okay. Oh, this is pretty. So, uh, yes, uh, let's see. It is the correct size and the right resolution. It has a clear use of layer blending and clearly uses multiple layers and utilizes full layer blending. It's coherent in style, cohesive in design, and the colors are controlled. I'd say we could push this uh, further. There are no, well, there are actually some immediately visible anomalies. Uh, right in here, it'd be good to put something a little bit darker so that it, it covers that up. Uh, going in, it's a little hard to see this wolf, but um, again, I think maybe a multiply layer. I'm just going to keep tossing these on top of each other. I know we'll run across, oh, uh, maybe not a multiply. So that fixes this and breaks that. Wrecks the color. You might be in a bit of a pickle here. Hmm. Yeah, I could see some of the issues. So, um, I would say that the initial images might have needed to have their levels pushed a little bit further prior to being used, uh, simply because they're they're getting so washed out so early on, and uh, there's it's hard to say if there would be a quick fix for that otherwise. Yeah, because I'm not even seeing changes there. So my advice would actually be uh, on the initial image, especially uh, on this wolf um, over in this corner. It's just kind of fading away. Uh, it would be good to come in and just crank those levels up uh, once you know what effect you're going to be using. Same with this wolf. This one needs to be darker. This one needs to be lighter, and that should resolve the issues. That would be right at the beginning prior to using them in the, uh, in the image uh, compilation. Um, this moon... I, I like the way that it drags everything together. I would almost argue maybe having another moon on top of here would be another good fix. One with a solid black background and then just set it to um, multiply mode so that it just knocks out everything except for what's inside the moon. And then that would just give you the wolf. This is a great, great image selection. Uh, it would give you the wolf and then you could uh, maybe dim back some of these trees a bit. I do like the splash of color that they're presenting, but uh, it's, it's really interfering with uh, the rest of the image. Uh, let me see if I have a moon on hand. Hold on. And here's the moon. And here we go. So just to demonstrate uh, what, what we've got here, I'm just going to um, show you what I mean. See, if you toss it and multiply, and this is just a, a free moon pixabay if i remember correctly i'm going to hold down alt while i transform it so that it uh, comes out from the middle so doing it in this way allows me to uh, mask it down here we go with kind of a natural moon mask and uh, notice the colors kind of fall off so this is a good start um, again this wolf i'd bring it back in one more time in a lighten mode but let's take a look at what we can do maybe even with curves might be good see how much lost data we have Ugh. No, that's not that's not doing it. But you can see where it's going. I would really need access to that wolf again because there's just too much getting lost from that blending mode. Uh, and the easiest way to do that would be to toss in the wolf one more time and just have that shape uh, cut out going in. Uh, hopefully, though, you get the idea there. Um, that would be uh, uh, that that would uh, help this along quite a bit. All right. Uh, no, don't save. Hmm. Hmm. Are you a copyright free image? I seem to remember you in Pokemon Emerald as being on my team. I do believe I used you to defeat the Elite Four. Hmm. Hmm. Well, so keep in mind, I do want copyright free images. Uh, I am very, very suspicious that a uh, Pokemon uh, is that Rayquazala. Uh, something along those lines. I'm probably mispronouncing it. It's been forever. Uh, yeah, no, this uh, that would not be a copyright free image. Uh, but let's let's ignore that for just a moment and take a look at the rest of this and see what's going on here. So we've got. Uh, oh no, that is not the correct size at all. Let me uh, come up here. So this is an issue that uh, about three semesters ago, this came up a lot on people using Macintoshes. They'd punch in all the numbers, but then when they saved out. Uh, what was it? I believe uh, PNGs and JPEGs. It would resize it to 72 pixels per inch, but it would be the correct number of pixels. It would just be the wrong size. So I'm just going to go to image, image size real quick and see if that's the case. Uh, notice I've got 
uh, resample on right now so it's actually making this bigger as I crank up the size. I don't want that to happen. I actually want to reinterpret it. So I'm going to turn off resample and I'm going to crank this up to 300 and sure enough uh, now we've got the eight and a half by 11 that I was looking for. So you were just either working at the wrong resolution or the computer got you uh, coming in. Let me know if it was the computer because that makes a difference and I'll need to give an alert. You know, let me know your operating system and what's going on there. Uh, that said, um, I, I feel so we're losing a lot in the dark. So let's see if we can do this, uh, keeping, uh, in theme, see if we can do this flat out with a, uh, Oh, I kind of like that. Can we bring it out just using a blending mode? I kind of like that actually just losing even more that that has a nice effect but real quick let's I, I really like that actually let's uh let's go ahead and toss this into a curves look at all this lost data let's uh bring some of that in there we go and lose a little bit there classic s curve maybe in there all right before, after. So I, I think that you can push it a little bit further. Do watch out though. You notice I'm starting to push the colors kind of the wrong way. Um, that said, it, it could be popped out a little bit more. Although you did, it, it's not the right size or resolution, but you did use, uh, clearly use bl layer blending. You've clearly used more than one layer. You've utilized full layer blending. So in other words, it takes up the whole screen here. I was looking for that. It's coherent in style. Yeah, it's a monster going across the, the oh, well, that's, that's cohesive in design. Yeah, it's a monster coming across the city so that gets it going is it uh, uh coherent in style yeah you've got like these uh bright images showing up on dark and that's just uh, kind of a theme you have unified throughout the entire piece so i'd say uh, absolutely your colors are controlled yeah uh your colors are controlled uh any an uh, immediate anomalies oh i'd say the giant pokemon's an immediate anomaly that's like coming in here that's a copyright free image oh maybe it's a photo of your toy no this is to totally computer generated uh yeah that's uh yeah all right well uh that said um there's also some, some pixelation on the monster uh, honestly i would have used a crocodile or something i think you could have gotten a, a better uh higher resolution image out of that and it would have been kinder to you while you're while you're working and you wouldn't have had to worry about uh game freaks coming after you and uh suing you for using their licensed nintendo product all right uh other than that, other, other than that yeah you seem to you seem to have the idea watch out for those sizes uh i tell people this all the time uh, there are these, uh, I call them bookkeeping errors. It's worth reading the assignment one last time just to be absolutely sure you've got the correct sizes and you've met all the requirements and all that. Okay, uh, we're coming up to, is that the 18 minute mark, 20 minute mark? Uh, we're coming up there, so uh, I will see you in the next video. All right, catch you on the flip side.